The challenge of souping up old cars. That tops tonight's Garden State Express. Our first stop, Kearney, where a high school shop class is transforming an aging 2001 Ford Mustang for fun and profit. The kids from Kearney High are competing against only four other schools in the nation, given $2,000 and just six weeks to modify it six ways from Sunday. You know, interior, exterior, and performance. Quaker State Best in Class Challenge judges will review the muscle car modifications. If they win, they get a trip to Florida to auction it off and bring their winnings back to their school. Next to Ewing Township and the New Jersey State Police, who were shocked to discover that a driver caught speeding on the Garden State has done the nearly unimaginable, sent a thank you note to the trooper who pulled him over. Longport Media President and CEO Dave Kosky runs radio stations. He says the anonymous trooper could have given him the ticket and walked away. Instead, trooper number 7515 explained that they want people to slow down because there have been some deadly accidents on that stretch of the parkway. Kosky's thank you for trying to save lives, not just hand out tickets, is posted on the State Police Facebook page, and Kosky says he'll address the event on radio station WOND's program, Blue Monday. Finally, Oceanport, where orange is the new track. Attendance is dropping for actual races at Monmouth Park, betting on the ponies going the way of guys and dolls, replaced by The Glow, an event that has the track alight with more than 5,000 jack-o'-lanterns. A pumpkin Ferris wheel, a pumpkin tower, even a pumpkin dinosaur. And carving stations where you can create your own carved carnivorous cadre of characters who are the current buzz. And that's our Garden State Express for Friday, October 21st. Something up in your town? Tip us off.